Hey friends, I hope you're doing well as we power ahead to 2022. God is good and he's going to be with you in this coming year as he was in this past year. But what a blessing to know that God still reigns, ruling over heaven and earth, and we can trust him. In 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 18 through 22, uh, we're reminded that our faith rests on the finished work of Jesus Christ, right? For Christ died for sins once for all, the righteous for the unrighteous, to bring you to God. He was put to death in the body, but made alive by the Spirit, through whom, through whom he went, also he went and preached to the spirits in prison. Again, I, I believe that that's where he announced God's victory over death uh, to those who'd already uh, perished. Uh, through whom he also went, also he went and preached to the spirits in prison, who disobeyed long ago when God waited patiently in the days of Noah while the ark was being built. And it only a few people, eight in all, were saved through water. And this water symbolizes baptism that now saves you also. Not the removal of dirt from the body, but the pledge of a good conscience toward God. It saves you by the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So in other words, this baptism, this identification with Jesus Christ, isn't uh, uh, embraced or uh, received through water baptism, but through water, uh, our identification with uh, Christ through faith. And, and again, the water baptism just symbolizes that, like the, the, the you know, God's salvation of Noah and his family uh, in the ark through, through that water is symbolized uh, by, by baptism. But it says, uh, this water symbolizes baptism that now saves you also, not the removal of dirt from the body, so not just getting wet, but the pledge of a good conscience toward God that, that one has put one's faith and trust in Jesus Christ. That's what I believe that means. It saves you by the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who's gone into heaven and is at God's right hand with angels, authorities, and powers in submission to him. So obviously, this is a difficult passage, a difficult text, but we always understand the difficult texts or try to understand them and interpret them in light of those that are clear. And, and throughout Scripture, right, it's faith that saves us. We're saved by grace alone, through faith alone, and baptism in water just symbolizes the cleansing um, of God, of our souls from sin uh, through faith in Jesus Christ. But Christ died for sins once for all, the righteous for the unrighteous, to bring you to God. Thank God. God, what a Savior. Be encouraged.